Man, this wind is blowing super strong. It's probably around 34, 35 miles per hour right now. It all started last night when I went to sleep. I could feel the truck shaking from how strong the wind was blowing. And this morning, it's still going strong. It calmed down a little bit. It came down to about 18, 19. And then I started driving. And once I got into Nevada, it started blowing stronger up to the high 20s. And right now, I'm looking about 34, 35. And throughout the entire way on I-15, there were signs, you know, cautious, truckers, uh, gusts of wind 55 miles per hour plus have been reported and stuff like that now remember i'm i'm empty right now so i can feel it this is one of the times i wish i was had a load on me of 40 000 plus pounds but it, it's just been been shaking me up the whole way i still have about 90 miles left to go i think i'm gonna go i was trying to wait it out for it to calm down it's currently like two o'clock in a couple of hours, it's supposed to calm down a little bit. Not a whole lot, maybe to the high 20s, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Las Vegas so I can just be there already. So there's this pretty cool app called the Wind App that I like to use in cases, in days like this where it's really windy. I, I wanna see where, what the wind is like and the direction, it's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. So the app is called Windy. So let's go find my location. I'm currently in Mesquite, Nevada. So this is where I'm at, Mesquite, Nevada. I need to get to Las Vegas. Look at this wind right here. Exactly where I need to go. This little line right here, that's I-15. That's where it's blowing the strongest. You see, I'm kind of kind of sucks, but I'm glad where the wind direction is going. Even though I'm going against it, even though it's blowing hard. I much rather prefer to go against it than it be catching me crosswinds. See, like right now, you know, 35 miles per hour over here, it's a little bit less. But I love to use this app. This app is pretty cool. Look, 31 miles per hour. And let's get down where it's pretty red. 35. It's a pretty cool little app. So yeah, the whole time, you know, I just been holding on to my steering wheel. Like my hand hurt from how hard I've been holding the steering wheel because it's been pushing me around. But I'm fixing to hit the road. Hopefully everything goes good. I mean, 90 miles left to go. It's about an hour and a half drive. Please, God, protect me. Finally made it to Las Vegas. I just got here to Marshalling Yard. Man, this wind is not letting up. It just keeps getting stronger and stronger it's currently at like 38 miles per hour right now but i'm glad i got here safe and sound uh today's saturday i don't check in till tomorrow at 6 a.m so i'm just gonna chill here for the rest of the day a lot there's a couple of times that i regretted getting back on the road because man the whole it's about 30 mile stretch where the like the truck was literally rocking of how hard the wind was blowing. I should, you know, my the whole time of mine was like, I should just stay there. You know, I could have waited a little bit longer, a couple of hours more. But I mean, getting blown over by wind, you know, it's a real thing. It happens pretty common out here in the on the West, you know, Wyoming, California, Nevada and stuff like that. It does happen. But I'm here. Thank you. Thank you, God. So many trucks here already. Literally getting blown away by this wind. That's why I gotta go, go check in tomorrow morning. It's kind of spring because I'm about to run back to my truck. I just got done checking in. It's 6.30 a.m. I am driver number 380. 
So I, now I just gotta chill my truck, see what time they call me. I don't think that they're gonna call me to this afternoon, so I got quite a bit of time to kill. At 4.30 p.m. they finally called me to go check in again at the trailers. So usually when they call me again it's because they're ready for me to head over to the convention center. Gosh. It's pretty empty. All, all the trucks are basically gone. There's only a few left. And this wind does not let up, man. It's been windy all day long. Yeah, I'm about to head over there to convention center. They gave me directions how to get there. It don't look too bad. Should be pretty, pretty easy to get to. Times are tough out here. Check this out. I just got loaded, but it's pretty late, so I'm not gonna start driving till tomorrow morning. So I'm fixing to head back to the marshaling yard to spend the night there. So I just stopped here in Utah on I-70. I'm gonna go do a little bit of more sightseeing. I swear I-70 has one of the best spots as far as scenery in the whole country. From Denver to I-15, one of the best areas to go sightseeing. Let's go check it out. I just parked for the day. I'm about 80 miles away from my drop off tomorrow, but I ran out of driving time. I'm not going to be able to make it all the way to Denver today, but it's all right. My delivery is not till tomorrow. A funny thing, I made it to where I stopped a few days ago, uh, just outside of Frisco. That's where, uh, that's where I stopped the other day over there. It's been snowing for like the last 60 miles. The road's been pretty good, but it's supposed to snow like overnight. And I haven't had to chain up, but I still gotta go through another pass, the Eisenhower Tunnel. And that's even a higher point than the Vail Pass. But I, I thought I was gonna have to chain up in the Vail Pass, but I did it. So hopefully tomorrow morning, depending how bad it snows, hopefully I don't have to chain up tomorrow. But I'm about to go walk, uh, go check out this, this view. It's the same view as the other day, but I'm just gonna go check it out. It's actually pretty chilly. <laughs> I'm gonna put my beanie on.
I'm fixing to eat dinner. And call it a day. Time to relax. Just got loaded in Denver, Colorado. Finally made it safe and sound. Everything went good. I was worried a little bit about those mountains though. And my truck is filthy. After driving through those mountains, all that snow, I need to get a truck wash pretty soon. So it's gonna be the end of the vlog. You know, I appreciate everybody watching. I do have a, my next pickup. I gotta go like a mile away. I gotta go to Albuquerque, New Mexico from here, from Denver. And then from there, they already got me a load. I got three picks and two drops. So I got picked up in Albuquerque, Lubbock, and Dallas, Texas, and then delivering in South Carolina. But I'll see y'all next time.